Welcome back to Crafting with Cord Chapter 5. So I've been hard at work and I've done a lot so I'm going to show you what all I've done. Uh, the first thing that I'll show you is in the storage room. Um, I think you've seen the ceiling before so uh, if not I've done the ceilings all over whoops, as uh, dark oak planks so that's something to see. Um, also I adjusted the wiring down here. Uh, it's exactly the same well, not exactly the same. I adjusted it, but it's basic. It, the functions are exactly the same, and uh, I just took out the uh, light right here, and I also lowered all of this wiring by one level. It was like at this level with the wiring. Um, whoops. So yeah. Whoops. Crap. Come on. I did that because if you look right here. There's a lot of weird lighting going on, and it might be an issue with this update, like with one of the snapshots. But for right now, uh, or, yep, yeah, but for right now, and if that doesn't get fixed, one way that might fix it is uh, to put a whole bunch of um, dirt blocks underneath here, or any blocks, any solid blocks underneath these planks, and that hopefully will fix the lighting issue. And I'll do that if uh, the lighting issue doesn't fix itself. Um, I also added this ladder, uh, which just lets me get down to the wiring a little bit easier. I added this uh, crafting bench because I need a crafting bench in here somewhere. Um, and I'm just going to put this chest on it for now. Uh, this is going to be the ender chest once I get ender chests. For right now, it'll just be a regular chest just to be a placeholder. Uh, so let's walk. Oh crap. I tried to jump over that. Let's walk out here. Um, Chains of chandeliers, which I don't remember if there were chandeliers the last part or not, but if if not, there are now two by two chandeliers here and here. So I think that looks pretty nice. Uh, this way, you'll see a nice big room. I believe this room is going to be my map room. Uh, I haven't fully decided on that, but that's probably what's going to be. Uh, so everything in here is just temporary besides like all the random junk in here is temporary but uh, yeah we'll see how this room turns out uh, yeah I like this large window though I might put a some type of pixel art in in the window if you have ideas for what pixel art uh, let me know in the comments uh, yeah because it, it looks nice but it looks a little plain at the same time I believe it's a 10 by 10 window or is it 11 by 10 10? I don't know. You can hopefully count it. I don't know. I've been looking at this wall for a while. So uh, it's like either 11 by 11 or 10 by 10 or something like that. Anyway, yeah. So that's that room. I added this hallway along here with another chandelier. There's a nice window right across here that you can look out and see the village. Whoa. Don't want to break the glass. Here's also a back door. Just a small single back door. Uh, won't let zombies in, which is always a plus and uh, just a simple button to open and close it yeah uh, that is just I wanted a way to get into this side of the house or get into the house uh, from this side without having to walk all the way around so it's just a small improvement let's walk up these stairs yeah walk up these stairs I think all this glass was here in here last time I've changed around my bedroom so now the door's on that side instead of over here. Let me just sleep. It's nighttime. I don't want spiders climbing in and attacking us. So, yeah, that this has changed. I put this wither painting behind the wall because, or on the wall behind the bed because it looks nice, I think. I looked up the other 2x2 two two paintings and didn't really like any of the other ones um, for this use. But I like the wither, uh, the wither, so I'll go with that. Here's a view of that big window from this side. I think it looks really nice. Um, this whole floor is just basically windows everywhere which looks really good. Uh, these rooms, I'm not sure what I'm gonna, uh, I'm not sure what is gonna go in these rooms but I just have them here for now. Just laid out. Uh, yeah, and here's gonna be the balcony. I've put down two torches down below and those are going to be the pillars that are going to come up from the ground to support the uh, to support the balcony. Uh, let's just jump on down. So.
so the here's the path right here and the path is going to kind of head this way and head on down here uh, I'm going to change this from being two small bodies of water and it's going to become one much larger pond it won't stretch so far this way it'll probably stretch like right along where my mouse cursor is pointing or I guess it's not my mouse cursor my crosshair is pointing like right along here will be where it comes to and it will stretch down around there um, and the path is going to come down uh, right down here and then circle the uh, circle the pond and there's going to be various buildings off the sides of it. So right here is going to be the library, which is going to probably be built into the wall of the hill a little bit. Uh, so yeah, so here's the library. The path will come along here a bit. And uh, here's the board, which I adjusted to be kind of, uh, instead of like four things on each uh, sign, I now have just one thing on each sign so if I finish let's say the house I can just take off the sign really quickly um, and just know what I have left to do and what I have left to work on but for right now yeah that's all the stuff um, right here so the, the path is gonna come along here and then there's gonna be a little offshoot of the path that'll come over here to the nether portal building um, this nether portal isn't going to be sitting right here. I don't know exactly where, but it'll be adjusted somewhere inside the building. Uh, then the main path, the main circle path, is going to come along here. And an offshoot will come along here somewhere. And here is going to be the chicken farm. It'll be right next to the sheep farm. Um, and, uh, I, I don't know, animals kind of go together and I won't have the annoying chicken noise everywhere that I had in my last base on the last world, so that should be good. Uh, yeah, this, the, the path will come and circle around here, shoot off to the sheep farm, and then keep circling around here, Circ or shoot off to the mine and the blacksmith, then it'll keep circling around, and it'll come to the brewery, brewer, that word is annoying to pronounce. Uh, with like my potion stuff going on in there and then it'll circle around and connect back up over here so I think that's what my plan is for this um, let me see if there's anything I forgot uh, yeah there'll be some more trees I will add back the grass I just took it out so that I could kinda visualize a little easier with the grass everywhere it's hard to like see signs and kinda I don't know. For me, it's just easier to imagine stuff without the grass everywhere. But I can come back with bone meal and, and get the grass to regrow. Uh, let's see. I mentioned this, this. Oh, I'm going to put street lamps along the uh, roads everywhere. And I'll have a, a day night sensor, a daylight sensor, I think it is. I think it's daylight with an L uh, somewhere and have them automatically turn on at night. I think that should look good. I've always wanted to have something like that going on in one of my uh, bases. Um, a mob farm? I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna have a mob farm or not. That's just kind of an idea of something I could add. So, yeah, I just have that going on. Or I just have that on there just as a reminder if I ever want to add it. And it, it could go right over there, um, kind of in between the brewery, which is right there, and the. Blacksmith, which is right there, have it go back a bit and just have it be mostly underground. I don't know if I want to do that or not, but that's one possibility. Um, yeah, I think that's everything I have to show right now. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to start uh, working on the terraforming and figuring out this lake here, and then I'm going to work on the path around the lake so I can uh, know kind of where the buildings need to be connected to so I have some sort of uh, basis for everything. So I'm going to get to work and I'll show you my progress in a little bit. So here is the new pond. Uh, the old small 
body of water that was over here reached out to like right, oops, reached out to right along here I believe uh, I also filled in some of this depression over here uh, let's actually fix this a little bit I don't know I hate trying to make land seem natural it's really hard uh, especially when you fill in dirt and it, it's just brown like this instead of uh, Instead of like it doesn't have grass on it, so it makes it look even more out of place. And I think this is okay. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to deal with it. It looks okay. But this is like I like I like how this looks pretty well. Um, for the most part, I guess there's a, maybe a few places I could throw the random uh, dirt block down and make it look a little bit more natural. But for the most part, I like it, and evidently the squids like it too. Because I, like, as I was uh, pouring the water in, um, like, there was already squid spawning in it. So that's kind of nice. Uh, yeah. So the path, which is the next thing I'm going to be working on, is going to uh, come a few blocks out from. Whoops, a few blocks out from it. Um, come along here. It might stretch out even farther in some places and get closer in other places. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to work on the path next and I'll show you what that, uh, what that looks like. So I finished the path all the way around uh, for the most part. There are a few places I'd like to adjust, like maybe right here. Uh, right here it looks a little weird. But unfortunately I've run out of gravel. Um, I had like three stacks of gravel or four stacks or something and it didn't matter I still ran out so uh, I'm just gonna kinda walk the path that it's going to go uh, the gravel will go in this kinda too wide hole and uh, yeah I still need to put the uh, path that's gonna come up this way that's not that's not too much and I, I'm running out of gravel anyway so I kind of wanted to just forget about this for right now um, until I get more gravel which I'm not sure where I can get a lot of gravel anyway let's climb up here and you get so much so many seeds from just breaking all the grass that's everywhere it's kind of annoying um, so now that I have kind of the path figured out I think I'm gonna go caving a bit and try to find a uh, go to try to find some more gravel so that I can finish up the paths um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go get to work and see what I can do so I've been around uh, this dimension and also the nether uh, gathering supplies for a number of hours I got a whole bunch of gravel um, and I'll show you this is my extra gravel now I went from having I think like one piece of gravel the end of the last uh, clip to now having this much extra gravel so that's that's good and as you can see I also spend a lot of time in the nether um, I have a friend in this house with me right now I just somehow got an egg and decided to throw it and it hatched so I decided to just keep him and now he turns the lights off on me at the most inopportune times anyway I also spent, went to the nether and got a also went to the nether and got a whole bunch of uh, nether quartz. I was looking around for a fortress uh, so that I could get blaze rods, but I never found anything. Um, so, I, mean, I think I hear a spider too. Yeah, it's night time. Um, I never found a fortress I ran. I didn't get that far because it doesn't take long to get your uh, inventory all filled up. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I just need to go in one direction. The problem is that until I find a fortress, I can't get a uh, I can't get a a potion. What's the po fire resistance potion? So that if I fall in lava, I'll be okay. And one of those potions would make finding a fortress a lot easier. But I can't get the potion until I actually find one in the first place. So it's kind of aggravating. Um, whoops. So I have a whole. Wow, that's a lot more than I thought it would be. Uh, I have a whole bunch of quartz now, so that's cool. Um, and I found a bunch more glowstone. And I'll show you... Uh, let me sleep real quick. I'll show you what I've done. Um, 
I don't think I've done much up here, if anything. I think I just put in those walls. Oh, I did do the balcony, I forgot. Yeah, how does the balcony how does the balcony look? I just have this here just to store random stuff. Uh, I think it looks pretty nice. If I stand right here, it gives a good view. Um, and I get to see all the mobs down there. Oh, you can kind of see, well, you can definitely see the uh, path. Whoops, how did I mess up that jump? Okay. Wow, I'm off the ball today. Really off the ball. Come on. Get on there. Okay. So I have the path all worked out. I filled it all in. Um, I think if I rounded that out, it would look a little bit better. There are still a few places that I want to, uh, I don't know, just kind of improve a little bit. Maybe round out that corner a little bit as well. Uh, but yeah, overall I think it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so tell me what you guys think of the balcony and that sort of thing I added. These uh, bushes that I've been adding in a few places, like in my bedroom and down in the storage room. Uh, oh, return to sender. I got. I forgot about that. I got that when I was in the Nether. That was <laughs> that was exciting. Uh, I got. I actually got that the first time I went in the Nether, which I didn't have a bow that time, and then I left and came back. Uh, I f like the first time, I just took a quick look around for um, a Nether fortress, and I thought, oh, it'll be easy. I'll just find another fortress real fast, right? That didn't happen, and then I found so much quartz. I was like, okay, let me go back and get my silk touch and get get a bow. And then I'll uh, be able to really take a good look around, and I still didn't find very much. Well, I didn't find any uh, another fortress, but I did find a lot of quartz, so that's what I meant. I, I don't know how to talk, I guess, today. Uh, I have been... Ooh, a little bit of lag there. I have been um, cooking up nether quartz. Nether quartz. Nether rack. Uh, if I ever cook up nether quartz, you can... You can stop watching because I'll be I'll be done with this game. Um, and yeah, that should be good. Uh, just so I can get the nether bricks, which I can then make into the uh, what's it called? The, the nether fortress blocks. I forget what they're actually called. What are they called? Let's make a couple of them. Okay, okay. Uh, what are they called? Nether brick. Oh, oh, what? That's weird. It's another brick. You put four nether bricks and you make another brick. Huh. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Um, so yeah, I've just been loading up these. Oh, I put one too few in there, didn't I? Yeah. Wait, what? There we go. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a full stack, a, a half stack, and then four extras for a hundred, which is a hundred is how many? Um, a lava bucket uses up. So that's just a really easy way to remember. Um, so yeah, I've been doing a lot of a lot of smelting and uh, I've been actually done a lot of building, but I want the I wanted the uh, nether brick for the alchemist the alchemist, uh, well I guess it is an alchemist, for the brewery I hate that word, I'm just going to call it alchemist shop. Uh, and then I also want some for the uh, nether fortress building, nether portal building. I cannot talk today at all. What is wrong with me? Um, but since I can't find an actual nether fortress, I have to cook up, cook up my own. Whoa, that chest is not working right. Oh, you can even see the sign behind it. That's bizarre. That looks. Whoa, that looks kind of cool though. Anyway, I'm just. Evidently, the game is having a, as bad a day at this as I am, so I'm going to try to work some off-camera, and hopefully uh, I get on the ball today so that the rest of this video isn't horrible. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let me get... Oh, I didn't show th from this angle. This is the path. Um, you saw this part, but you didn't see this part. It's unfortunate that you have to jump, but you had to jump before, and there's no way I could use gravel and have it not, um, whoops, and have you not jump. So, yeah, oh, I took everything out of this room except for this, just so it looks a little bit better. Uh, I didn't, I don't need melons ever. I mean, I mean, if I ever did, I have so much saved up. 
Uh, I had so much that I just started combining them into actual melons um, so that it would save room, even though it's inefficient because when I re-break this I won't get nine back, I'll get like three back. But I have so many pumpkins and so many melons, I don't need any more for a long time. So anyway, I'm going to get back to work and try to focus on this game. Oh, I, I can show you one other thing real quick before we go. Before I go, you don't go anywhere. Um, I've done a lot of enchanting. Uh, my the the sword I was using was basically dead, and I I don't know why I'm saving it. I don't think I want to repair it at all because it's horrible. But uh, yeah, so that's that one. And then I got this one, which is also bad. I got this one, which is I think I'm going to use uh, for killing wither skeletons and just fortress stuff because that's that's what's good. That's what it's good for. And then I have this one, which is the one I'm using now. I'm really happy with it. It's it's really nice. Um, I got a really crappy axe, and I got a really crappy shovel. Uh, so yeah, that's not too exciting. But I'm I'm happy with the sword. The sword kind of makes up for it. And I I was killing um, the pigs in the Nether. That's how I got all the golden swords. Anyway, I'm gonna stop putting off getting back to work and uh, go work, so talk to you in a second. So here I am, I've been hard at work, I'm just at the corner of my little road here. I've been working on this chicken farm and I built it two different ways. I built it the first way where I'll show you the dispenser back there. Oh that was good timing, you got to see a chicken die. Uh, you, that dispenser back there was facing, was right here basically, and facing downwards, and that didn't work. So I had to rebuild the whole thing and uh, have the eggs shoot out the side. Uh, when I did it the other way, it seemed that only like one chicken at a time, one baby chicken at a time, could be in the in the little pin down at the bottom. So yeah, that wouldn't work. That would be an extremely slow. So I just, uh, yeah, I, I switched it all up and rebuilt this whole thing. I'll show you how it works. I have chickens needed at the moment. I only have ten chickens up here because uh, I went through most of my eggs in the first design and wanted to just make sure I saved some uh, just in case this didn't work either. So I'm going to put probably 20 chickens up here total, 20, 25, something like that. So the chickens, you might be, uh, you can't really tell, but they're sitting on a hopper. Um, I wonder if I can see that hopper. Come on, why can't I walk in here? I thought you could... Okay, whatever, I'll do that. So they are, I believe, one block above this. Like, there's this hopper, and then there's a hopper above this hopper, and then the chickens. Uh, let's see. Hopper, hopper, chickens, yeah. They are up at this level, then there's a hopper, and then there's this hopper. And then there's this dispenser uh, right here. Um, and when items are in this dispenser, this comparator reads out. And uh, I should say when there are more than... Oh my gosh, that's stupid. I thought you would fit up, be able to fit under there when there's just a repeater on the ground. When there's, I believe, 10 eggs in this um, dispenser, um, this power will go up to two, the power sent out by the comparator goes up to two uh, energy or in two power, whatever, and it makes the clock run um, once. And at the same time, when this gets power, this repeater is also powered, and so it sends power and shoots out one egg. Uh, if all of a sudden, like, 20 eggs went in there somehow, uh, this would be a clock, and uh, yeah, just keep sending out the eggs. Uh, yeah, it that way. If there's f like, well, I guess with the hoppers, it kind of doesn't work that way. But if somehow things got bunched up in the uh, dispenser, this clock would still run, and um, the items would get uh, shot out safely. And it wouldn't. I wouldn't have to come back here and fix it. Oh, it's nighttime. Um, then. The chicken, baby chickens are half a block tall, so they can sit on this half slab. When they grow up, they will die in the lava, and uh, their 
are hoppers underneath the half slabs. Half slab or er, hoppers can pull items um, through half slabs. Whoa, I'm lagging a little bit. Whoops. And uh, so the hoppers meet in the middle here and then come down to here. And I s waited overnight and only got uh, about a stack of chicken, and that was with 10 chickens feeding this. So I think I'm gonna bump that up to like 20 or, tw or 30 chickens so that I get a few bit, a few uh, chickens more, a few uh, like cooked chickens more. Um, oh, also I died while I was working on this and I lost all my gear. So yeah, that's that's really annoying. Uh, I'm back down to just my old gear. That's almost broken, that's why so why I'm level two, because yeah, I died. Uh I really need to find some kind of uh spawner so that I can um set up a mob farm. Uh but I, I don't know, I can't find one. I don't know I went all through the um what's it called? Abandoned mine shaft down there. Never found a spawner. Uh and I went all I've just mind I don't know about quite a bit I mind a bit and uh didn't find any regular spawners either oh a little bit of lag there yeah I don't like this that's why I didn't want to put too many chickens in here but like there's no point in having um like a stack of cooked chicken after 20 or uh not 20 but like after 8 hours of uh this running there's like there's just no point in having a system that is that slow uh, but hopefully that should be I don't know how many I added I, I was counting at first but it's it's, a, it's hard to talk and count at the same time so I don't know it's probably like uh, 18 or 19 something like that but that's really annoying I put at, in the first design I had um, glass on the front and they only came out of the glass, like lagged out like that. And I thought, okay, well, I'll just put solid blocks and then that'll fix it. But evidently that doesn't fix it, uh, which is annoying. Hmm, I'm not sure uh, if there's, I, I'm not sure what to do about that because I'm on, I'm not on a server. I'm just on like a single player game. So I'm not sure how to fix that issue, but I'm going to, uh, back to work a little bit and show you when I've done a little bit more. So I'm hard at work. I just finished up the chicken farm. Uh, oh, it's almost night. Dang it. Uh, so everything works up here. Um, the chickens grow up down here, die, and then their drops come in here. I also have a lever over here for if I want uh, to save the feathers or if I don't want to save the feathers. So I'll show you that down below. Uh, let me go check out the wiring. Uh, since it's nighttime, I'm going to close this off in here. So, there's a few different parts to this. So this is where I showed you before these three hoppers are underneath the baby chickens. They grow up and die and their drops come along here. And, um, the, I guess the normal path is for the drops to come right along here into this dropper. And then there's a simple comparator clock right here that sends the items up through here. Um, oh, I already have a whole bunch of feathers on me, so I can just show you that really quick. Uh, the items just go into this dropper, into this dropper, and then this clock runs and sends the items up. This dropper is facing upwards into this chest. So you can see the feather number of feathers is going upwards. And let me just grab another stack so that I can show you the other thing as well. So yeah, that's the normal path. Um, then I also have another option. I showed you that lever, which is, how can I show you this? Come on. Which is right above, come on. Oh, I can't jump up there, can I? Okay, which is right above this block. It's actually on this block. It's on the that side of that block. So when it's flipped, that uh, 
red whoops crap that redstone will be powered and then this torch will turn off when this torch is off this redstone is off and then this block will be unpowered right now this torch is powering this redstone which powers this block which powers this hopper so this hopper is always turned on and won't suck items out of the hopper above it so uh, right now all items pass through uh, this hopper without being sucked down into this hopper however if um, I turn this off turn the, that uh, if I flip that lever or just break the wiring now um, this hopper which is filled with feathers will take items out of uh, this hopper only feathers though because there's only since since this since this hopper has feathers in it, only has room for feathers in it, it will only take feathers out of the hopper above it. So let's just drop a couple feathers up here. And um, that's showing the next part as well. But uh, how can I show it without? Let's, let's just break this comparator right now. So when I put feathers up here, they all get sucked into here. You can see that going from 18 to 19 and then going back down to 18 that's because uh, each one of those feathers that goes into this hopper is then sucked out of that hopper and into that hopper which is directed into this dropper and uh, yeah just sit in this dropper now um, I just want to make sure I picked up all of those the reason why that there are some feathers sitting in here is because there's a comparator reading right here this is just a simple um, item sorting cell so as long as there's only one uh, re redstone power worth of items in there which is 22 items of uh, items that stack to 64 uh, as long as there's only um, one redstone power is worth uh, this hop or this dropper right here this hopper right here is powered by this redstone torch but as soon as another uh, item goes in there, so I can actually drop any number in here. Uh, so I'll just drop a, a bunch in there. So now this power, this redstone dust is powered as well because the comparator has reading that there's more items in there. As soon as it hits 18, or 18 in the first slot, or 22 total, it uh, unpowers. And so this redstone dust unpowers as well. Um, when this redstone dust is powered, that powers this block, which powers the repeater, which unpowers the uh, torch, which unpowers this hopper, which lets the items get sucked out. Uh, so yeah, it's just a simple sorting cell that is used, that's just kind of the standard sorting cell, I think, or at least used to be, and will um, uh, just filter out all the uh, feathers that come along this path. Uh, I did that because at some point I'm not going to want feathers clogging up the system anymore. Um, once I have, whoops, how many feathers do I allow in here? Yeah, once I have nine stacks of feathers, that's probably all I'm going to need ever, so I don't need uh, a bunch of these feathers. Actually, I kind of want to redo this wiring a little bit. Let's do this. Whoops, got that get there. What I'm going to do, what I'm changing is I want a full block underneath the chest so that uh, light doesn't come from down below. So now I'm going to put this around and I don't need a repeater anymore. Oops, come on. Let me just count that. So that's 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Yeah, that's, that's a lot less than 15. So yeah. Now this, oh, I'm, I took out one part, so let's do that. So this is just another comparator clock, so when there are items in this dropper, let's take out a whole bunch of that. They get shot out into, on, just onto the ground, um, because I don't want them anymore, because I have all the chicken, or all the chicken, all the feathers that I need. Uh, yeah, and that's that. And let me just double check to make sure this wiring change worked. So I'm going to put feathers up here. If I break this dust that simulates turning off that um, lever, 
and then they shoot out there. I turn the lever back on and you can see this comparator clock flashing and they're going up into the chest. So that, that works wonderfully. And yeah. So there's one last thing I want to do for today and that's putting in the uh, lamps around the path. So I'm going to get to work on that and show you when I've uh, done that. So let me get to work. I've set up the uh, street lights. Yeah, I remember what I was working on now. I set up the street lights. They are hooked up to a uh, daylight sensor right below here. Um, when it is less than four powers worth of daylight, whatever that exactly means. Um, this string of redstone goes along and on down and around to all the lights. I don't want to spend a long time down here because uh, it's pretty simple. It's just a bunch of uh, redstone lines to torches and then there's a torch above this and then the block underneath the uh, redstone lamp. I want to be up here when it turns on which will be here in a few seconds. Um, and I also uh, realized that I was dumb and that you get blue from lapis lazuli, the the stuff you mine. So, um, yeah, so it should turn on in a second. So I made a whole bunch of dyes of all the different colors that I'm missing. So it should turn on. There we go. And uh, now things are lit up. I might change it to three. I don't know, actually, I like, I like that. Uh, or maybe, yeah, maybe three um, power instead of four power. So it's like right about now when it turns on. I don't know. So I'm, I made uh, other colors. Wait, I think. Oh, that is magenta. Yeah. So these colors I couldn't make before. I think the only color that I don't have in here now, or after I do this, I should say, will be um, will be brown. Oh, there's a lot of grays right here. Uh, so yeah, I will. I think I just double clicked on one blue guy. But that's okay. Um, yeah. So once I find a jungle, I can find. Uh, once I find a jungle, I can find the. Uh, uh, what are they called? The seeds on the on the side of the jungle trees. I don't know, but they turn into brown. They turn into the brown, uh, the brown dye. Uh, I just had it on cocoa beans. That's that's what it is. Good job, cord. I paid attention to what I was doing today. Um, yeah. So th this is the end of the episode. This episode has not gone particularly well. I managed to screw, <laughs> screw so much up and die uh, and lose so much stuff. But I did get. Uh, the thing done, the chicken farm done, and I'll show you that right now actually. Just wanted to get a few of these. Whoops. I can do this, can I? Yeah. A few of these uh, in here. I guess I'll organize this later. Let's just put these like this. Okay, uh, I dropped this off. So I put on a slanted roof. I kind of like it. I I think I want to change the walls though. Uh, so like on some levels, I don't have any dirt, but on some levels it's uh, two and sometimes it's one because it just slants, slants down um, half a block every few blocks. Uh, I think if I push it in one block, like push this, the roof in one block maybe and change the double box to the normal, uh, this is andesite. So change the double slabs to andesite. I think that might look better. Uh, I'm not sure. And this is the inside. I didn't. Oh, let's get in here. I didn't. Um, uh, what's it called? I uh, didn't do anything special on the inside, and I still have torches here, which isn't gr isn't great. Uh, I think I need another torch actually, because I had one sitting on the ground right there. Uh, it doesn't look 
great in here. Um, so I think if I switch that out, it would look better on the inside as well. Uh, I have some chicken progress here. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be too uh, great. Uh, let's see. I, behind here, I added a hatch. I don't know where that guy is going, but okay. Um, so there's this little point where it has to stick out for the wiring because there has to be wire on that block. So the wall couldn't touch the floor there, or couldn't, couldn't touch the ground. So right behind it, I just put a trap door and a ladder down here in it so I can access the wiring if I need to. Um, and that's also handy because it gives me access to the uh, lines of wiring here. Uh, yeah, this is the one that's right by the sheep farm, I think. Or, like, the path to the sheep farm runs, like, kind of where my cursor is, but imagine it on the ground floor. And then the sheep farm is right over there, I think. Um, and then this is the one... Oh, wait, no, this is the one right outside the... Um, this is the entrance to the... I'm totally messed up. Yeah, this is the entrance to the uh, chicken farm. So this is right by the curve. Right, yeah, right there is the chicken farm. So this is the one right by the curve uh, before the chicken farm, like uh, right on the side of the circle or mm. oval. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to run through here and uh, while I finish talking. So thank you for watching this episode. Um, and next time I'm planning to uh, probably work more in the nether, take a long nether journey. Or set up a mob farm since I need experience. One of the two. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Um, yeah, have a good day. Bye.